What's up everybody, it's Justin Patty, and today we're going to talk about wintertime fishing, rigging up your swim bait rods, rigging up your A-rig rods. We're going to keep it simple with the swim baits. We're not going to get into the big 6 to 8 inch, 10 inch swim baits. Number one go-to for me would be a 3 inch, and this is the Arizona Custom Baits Hollow Belly. And uh, I'm just going to rig it on a ball head here. I'm going to go ahead and show you some techniques in the uh, video here of how to rig this bait. but very very versatile anywhere in the country you can catch fish on this bait number two bait go a little bit bigger i'm going to go for a little bit bigger bite we're going to get this on the bottom this is a, a five inch arizona custom baits hollow belly i rig it up texas style with a screw lock hook that way i can get it down into the cover and get it up and over stuff and it doesn't get snagged as easy but you have a little bit bigger profile and number one go to big fish bait in the winter time by far is the A-Rig. And here we have a G-Funk rig. This is the uh, five wire bladed rig here. And uh, awesome thing about this bait is it comes exactly how I rig all of my rigs. In Arizona we, we rig two hooks on the bottom and we have three dummies up top, blades typically, um, non-blades however you prefer. This bait comes rigged, ready to go exactly how I want it. An awesome setup with complemented with these Arizona custom baits swim baits. I've got three inch hollow bellies on the bottom and I've got the uh, three and a half inch fat uh, ring ring swim bait here. It's a, it is an Arizona custom baits ring swim bait. Throw it out, count it down, slow roll back to the boat, make a couple pumps every now and again, just get these blades to flash. This is, this is my two go-to setups in the winter time. Check out those rigging uh, videos I'm gonna go ahead and show you right now for the uh, swim baits. My single swim bait rig setup here, I typically go with a medium action spinning rod. I go with 10 pound SX1 Sunline braided line with a fluorocarbon leader. I like the 2500 series. This is a Stratic CI4 Plus spinning reel. It's got a really nice drag. A rig setup, I typically go a little bit heavier with the A rig. I pair that with a Corrado 300. Typically I use 16 pound and this is a Sunline Reaction Sniper and that's just a really good combo for me and uh, I've had really good success with this setup. Alright we have our 3 inch hollow belly, Arizona Custom Baits hollow belly here and this is the uh, preferred method of uh, rigging with this screw lock hook you can actually get at Arizona Custom Baits. So you go ahead and stick the tip of the hook the nose of the bait and you want to go straight down through the nose come out of the belly there's a slit in the belly there now you want this bait to be as straight as possible when you screw this on you're going to screw the bait around the hook point here okay just screw it right up against the nose and you have your hook point you need to come back up through the top of the bait and you want it to be as straight as possible in line kind of straighten the bait out a little bit there and that way you have your bait nice and straight and you're going to get the most out of that bait here we have the uh, simple ball head style rigging for the uh, three inch Arizona Custom Base hollow belly Line up where you want your hook to come through the top, stick it through the nose of the bait, fish it through straight as you can, go down through the hollow part of the belly, out through the back, and just push it right up against the head of the bait there. Alright, here's the uh, weighted Texas rig style for the uh, Arizona Custom Bait Swim Bait. You could rig it this way. Some people prefer the EWG style. and. Uh, you go ahead and just basically come right through the nose like your Texas rigging any other bait. I like to come straight through and poke my hole. Moisten the eye of the hook. Push it back through this way. Line up your hook. Stick it back through. Like so. And you have a, a Texas rig, you know, for weed. If you're going trying to go through weeds or heavy cover, um, that's a good method. I, I prefer the screw lock on this one. Uh, it seems like the bait lasts a little longer. Take your, this is an owner weighted screw lock, go right through the nose. 
nice and straight. Come right through the slit of the belly. And your hook just kind of sits right on top of the bait, just like that. And this is how I rig the uh, G Funk five wire bladed rig here. My hollow belly here to the bottom two hooks is Arizona, so we can only have two. And I'm just going to go ahead and rig this on just with a collared weighted swim bait hook. So we got our two baits on there, and then these uh, G Funk baits come rigged and ready to go with screw locks already. Just take your screw lock, line it up right in the nose of the bait there. Once you get it started, they just screw right on. All right, and that's how I would rig my G Funk rig. And I'm going to throw that from fall all the way to the springtime. All right, I hope you guys found this video beneficial. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, it's Justin Patty Fishing. You can go to my YouTube channel, Justin Patty Fishing, and check out that video I posted last year of Fishing Lake Mead with Arizona Custom Baits. And that will definitely give you some confidence in these swim baits. And uh, you can also uh, check out my blog. It's justinpattyfishing.com. I usually typically put all my fishing reports for uh, past tournaments and uh, all the uh, results and everything on there. So go ahead and check it out. I hope you guys go out this winter, throw the A-Rig, throw your Arizona Custom Baits, Swim Baits, and catch your new personal best. Thanks for watching.